Hey, we're standing here today with a 1916-1530 Huber. And you know, you can't really say 1530 Huber and this tractor pop into your mind because they also made a 1530 Super 4, which is a lot more common, which people associate with a little more. But this is one of the real early uh, Huber tractors. There, there was just a couple tractors before this. So Huber started uh, with what was called the farmer's tractor. And, and it, was, it was actually a, a, a variation of this tractor that used a similar two-cylinder opposed engine. Uh, it was a little smaller. And then the, uh, the driver's seat and steering wheel was in the front. It was in the front of the tractor, kind of like a car um, or, or a, a cab over truck, I guess more like a cab over truck. They only built about 12 of those. I don't think there's any of those existing. Uh, and then they moved on to this line in 1912. Uh, so this was the smallest tractor of Huber's line. They had three tractors. They had a 1530, a 2040, and a 3570, big 3570 Prairie tractor. Um, all of those tractors are exceptionally scarce. Um, you know, there's really only two and a half of these, which I'll talk about in a little bit. There are no 2040s known, and there's, you know, two and a half or three, uh, or three and a half of the, of the 3570s. So, just a handful of these early Hubers. This tractor uh, in existence is, uh, that we know of, is a 1914, a 1915, and a 1916. This is a 1916, uh, so this is the latest of, of those that are known. Uh, the 1915 uh, is missing an engine. The 1914 is complete. And uh, this was found by a fellow named Dan Ellerding, which might be a very familiar name to a lot of you tractor collectors. Dan was a great guy, probably one of the most talented guys on finding uh, parts and pieces of anybody that I've ever met. I mean, he was a scrounger and, and he, he really had a knack for it. And Dan was from the Marion, Ohio area. So he always had an interest in these early Hubers. And uh, he found this one in Wyoming uh, and it wasn't complete. Uh, so he's, he's done quite a bit of work on it. I believe one of the heads is recast. The, the flywheel has, has been repaired. Um, and it's just still got a little work to be done to it, but uh, it is, it's a very complete tractor and, and it's really gonna make a, a great one for somebody to kind of take to the next level. It is so rare, it is so insanely rare. Um, this is actually, of the 1530 Hubers known, uh, I didn't even realize that there were different variations, but this is a, this is a strictly gasoline model. And uh, one of the other ones is, a, uh, is an all fuel. So it has a kerosene and gasoline tank. Uh, for a 1530, it's got a huge stance. Uh, the engine uh, is, is two cylinder opposed, which I've all, I'm a two cylinder opposed nut. And I also like anything with a screen cooled radiator. And I also like anything with a big exposed fly ball governor. This is, you know, this just has a lot going for it for an early tractor. It's got a lot of really, really cool features. And that engine is a seven by eight uh, bore and stroke. So, I mean, for a, for a 1530 size tractor, that's a, that's pretty, pretty sizable displacement. So it's one of the highlights of the auction. And, and you know, you say 1530 Huber to people, they are, it's so rare that a lot of people can't even picture it, but it, it's also one of the most unique tractors with that uh, double screen cooled radiator and the fly ball governor. And uh, it's, it's one of my favorites of the auction.